Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the gradient ramp effect. This is a very simple effect, but it's particularly useful if you have a solid color background and your composition just feels a little boring. And you wanna inject a little life into your background. I'll create a new composition, call it gradient ramp, 1920, 1080 pixels, all this is fine. In case you're new to After Effects, the background color that you add when you create a new composition, this does not get rendered in the final video. So this is really just a transparent background. This color is really just to give you a visual color to help you as you're designing. But if you want to add a background color, I'm just gonna right click down in the layers panel, go to new, solid. I'll make it comp size by clicking this button. I'll click on the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna select the color then I'm gonna click OK. Now, if I click on that transparency button, we do not see the transparency grid because this is an actual solid color that's going to be rendered or visible when you export the composition. And to add a gradient ramp, I'll select the background layer. I'm gonna go up to the effects and presets panel, do a search for gradient or ramp. I'm just gonna do G-R-A-D. There I'm gonna see gradient ramp, drag it right onto the layer. To change the direction of the gradient, you'll use the start of ramp and the end of ramp. They each have these little point controls. If I click on start a ramp, you'll see that's currently at the top and the end of ramp is down here on the bottom. So if I just change the values a little bit, it'll make it easier for me to grab. And now I can simply click on that little point control. I can put it up here in the corner and I can move the end of ramp. I'll click on it and drag it into the other corner. And now I have a diagonal gradient. I'm going to reset this gradient ramp. I'll just go to effect controls and click on reset. To change the colors, I'll go to start color. I can click on the color swatch and pick a color, or I can just click on the little eyedropper and select a color. I'm gonna select the same blue that I created that new solid with. Then I'm gonna go to end color. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select the eyedropper and I'll select the same blue. Now all I'm going to do is go to the start color. I'm gonna click on the color swatch and I'm just gonna make the start color just a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna click and drag up a little bit. And as I do so, you will see that little soft gradient where it's lighter on the top and it gets a little darker on the bottom. And if I toggle on and off the gradient ramp, you will see that solid color background, which looked okay. Just adding a little bit of gradient ramp just gives it a nice little design touch. You can also change the look of the gradient ramp in your background by playing with the ramp shape. So it's currently set to linear ramp. If I click the drop down, I can change it to a radio ramp. I'll toggle off the gradient ramp. So this is the before. This is the solid color blue with no gradient. Now when I toggle back on the gradient ramp, I'll take it one step further. By moving the point control of the start of ramp, I'm just gonna drag it right in the center and I can move this anywhere I want, but I'll move it right in the center. Now you can see that radio ramp draws the viewer's eyes right into the center of the composition. This works great if you add some text or maybe a logo and you wanna draw the viewer's eyes into the center. And if you wanna make the circle or the radius of the gradient a little larger, you can select the solid layer, tap S for scale, and simply drag up the scale. And that will also increase to create more of a vignette and to soften or minimize the banding. Those are those visual circles or lines that you're seeing in your gradient. Just go to ramp scatter. This is going to add noise, which should really take care of really help that banding. If I go up to 40 or 50, it looks great on my monitor. You might still be seeing it just because I'm recording the video, but ramp scatter should really do a good job with the banding. And below ramp scatter, you'll see blend with original. You can think of this as the opacity slider for the gradient ramp. As you increase this, it's gonna show the background. And then there's swap colors. If you wanna see what the gradient looks like with the colors reversed, you can just click on swap colors and that will invert the colors. And that is how to use gradient ramp in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.